Previously on Game Trip. Take your time. Again, listen to this. Hoot hoot. After going through the lost woods, you will come across. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Game Trip. Look what I did. I got over this fence. I just, I had to use a chicken. That was it. It was just using a freaking chicken. But I, I was doing it before, but just, I don't know, whatever. I did it, okay? And it took me like one try. Which makes me feel dumb, in, just in general, but whatever. And move on with my life now. <laughs> Get all the chickens. It'd be such a weird thing for me to not do this before I finish the mountain. It, it, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. Anyway. So, yeah, welcome back. Um, I've been reading... Actually, you know, like, reading isn't even what I've been doing. I've... I found a really cool new notes app that is super helpful for just me personally, so I've decided to do an entire... Uh, an entire... Not ent entire, what am I, five? An entire, um, dissection. Oh, can I? Can I? No, 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 no. You, you get there another way. I'm doing an entire dissection of of the Republic, you know, um, because I, I've read so many books on philosophy, and I think perhaps it's time I, I started really, like, just dissecting this stuff um, on just a logical, analytical level, because I am so curious to see what actually holds up, because, you, you know, you can have an intuition about a good idea, but... And when you take it apart piece by piece, all the cracks will show themselves. So, I've been reading that again, which, I mean, it's a it's a great read. It's super enlightening, and it feels... It's weird. It feels good to read. Is that all the chickens? No, no, there's one more chicken up there. And maybe one right here, yeah. Oh, come back, come back, come back. This one always tries to run away from you. Um, but I'm a bit further into the book now, and... It's getting really, really juicy because, you know, they, they've had these arguments. They've established that, um, essentially that, you know, I, don't, I don't remember what I told you guys before, but they, they came around to the conclusion that if you're a truly just person, you know, you, you won't cause injustice to anyone, which means, you know, if someone like steals your horse, you know, you don't go steal their horse to balance things out. What you do is you turn them into someone who doesn't steal horses somehow through justice, you know, however that is. I mean, maybe it's a punishment or uh, who knows, but you're not out for revenge. Yeah. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I'm so cuckoo, I have allergies. So I get the cuckoos when I touch them for helping me. I'm going to give you this fine glass. It is not from a thrift store, I swear to God. No, bottles, I guess glass is rare in the Zelda world, so bottles are like, whew, you got a bottle, you got the time, you got the time to have that bottle. I don't know what that means. Oh, hey, what are you doing over here, buddy? Have you seen Mr. Dompe, who lives in the graveyard up ahead? It's 1744 right now, so he's probably asleep in his hut. Why don't you go out to the field and kill some... People, t I mean time. Oh yes, <laughs> I love this. It's just question mark. Oh, go around, go around, go around and around. What fun! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I swear, I'm a music man who loves to go around and around, go around and around. I'm trying to come around with a musical theme inspired by this windmill, going around and around and around. Well, that's the song, but he, he's, he's not teaching it to me yet. I guess he teaches it to you later. Anyway. Moving on. It's a cool room, and it's a cool song. Love the Song of Storms. But, so anyway, Socrates has come around to convincing them that, you know, um, just wouldn't do any harm to injustice, but... What, what really? There's another... Did she lose all her chickens again? Uh, whatever, I'm not concerned with it. Oh, and I suppose I gotta finish- I gotta visit the Golden Skulltula guys. Cr 
creepy. This used to scare the crap out of me. Look at this deformed freak. Are you okay? <laughs> we all look like this because of the spider's curse. If every spider of the curse in the entire world were destroyed, the curse would be broken. Everyone! Did you catch that? When you destroy a spider of the curse, a token will appear. Collect it as proof of your achievement. Oh, I hope somebody does it. The number next to this... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. You, player, get the skeletons. The, the, the things, get them. <laughs> of course, if you break the curse on my family, we will make you very ri rich. You see, we have no money, but we have wallets aplenty. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, so we did it. We, we've... We've cleared out the village. And... Should we... Should we do the Kakariko nightlife? Is that... You know what? To get a bigger wallet, maybe? Just now? Just we'll do the Kakariko nightlife. It's the Kakariko nightlife episode, everybody. Here we go. I mean, I guess I could have just changed the time of day. But it'll be night in like two seconds. And. Ooh! Damn it. Is it night? Feels like night. What are there, no chickens? On, uh. In, in, in you know, over there? So, this village is full of those freaking spiders, I guess because the curse is located here. They seem to have thought of a lot of finer lore details that are just kind of subtly dropped in there, but I, I don't know. Sometimes it's just your speculation, but that's what's cool about this game. You can just... you can speculate about things without actually knowing fully what they are and, and losing the plot. Anyway, so when Socrates finishes this argument, you know, and they've kind of agreed that, you know, it's it's a it's good to not be a dick, essentially. Like, no matter what. Um, this Stoic philosopher Thrasymachus comes out, and he's pissed, and he doesn't like how Socrates argues. He's like, ah, with your, with your way of wa waggling words around, and, you know, that's eventually what got Socrates killed, was that he just upset so many people. With, with the philosophies he was undoing, not necessarily the ones he was teaching. Um, but Thrasymachus comes out and he's like, you know what I say? He's like, I say justice is in the interest of the stronger. You know, that... No, I swear, one of them spiders is like right here. Am I crazy? What? Could have sworn there were more spiders in this village. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Okay, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. We gotta get to the mountain. Um. Yeah, and they're like, buy an iron shield, and I'm I'm totally not. I am not buying Look, I am not walking around with a dumbass turtle shield on my back, okay? Where I just have to bend over like a fart, okay? I'll get my shield burned by the fire keys before I do that. Anyway, so, Persimachus is like, well, I say justice is in the interest of the stronger, that, you know, um, whatever the, in any society, whatever the strongest party, party wants, that's that's what the people enact, and that's what they call justice. And he's, he's essentially saying it's like not a thing at all. It's just this, you know. And he he's not entirely wrong. Um, but Socrates has a really good way of of getting past that argument. And he's they start to define things, and um, you know they would say like for example, if if you're a true doctor, right? Not not necessarily that like every doctor is like. He's a doctor, but he's also a guy, and, you know, maybe he's, like, also, like, a tennis player, and, you know, you don't say he's a doctor while he's playing tennis, you know, that's just, that's just what he does, you know, so you are what you're doing, so when you're playing tennis, you're, you're, you're a tennis player, when you're walking, you're a walker, you know, and when you're healing the sick, you're a doctor, right, so... 
he points out that at no point in being a true doctor or a true anything do you ever consider anything but what you're you're caring for so if you're a, a music player your care is in playing music you know not necessarily feeding yourself or if it is in feeding yourself it's only because um oh god we're, we're, there's like a torch in here somewhere i'm trying to find it anyway i must have passed it up so and he points this out in the in the case of a leader a leader is only ever supposed to ever be concerned with what they're leading you know, um, okay, well, I guess we gotta go downstairs first. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open up the door. So, it, it, what he essentially says is that no leader... Uh... Uh, how does it go? Yeah! Do, 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 do. That's not the song I was supposed to play anyway. It's the Zelda's lullaby. Nah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just hang up real quick. Oh, do you want to talk to me? Why would I want to talk to you, Navi? Silly fairy. Anyway, so that's the point. Any leader, insofar as they are a leader, you know, only thinks of what they're leading. You know, the health and care of what they're leading. So, the justice of the stronger would always be put back into serving, you know, its subjects. Like, you know, the, like, you know, a king is supposed to care for his subjects. That's his, that's why we made him king. We didn't make him king just to make him big and shiny. Anyway, um, let's talk to Darinia. Daruna? Daron- Daronia? I'm just gonna call him Rock Nipples. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger but had arrived, but you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Oh, so he's brothers with the king, too. Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face! He just, like, slaps Link. And, yeah, okay. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dongo's Cavern. We've had poor harvest for our special crop. Balm flowers. I mean, we eat bombs. How shitty is that? Anyway, how about a tune to brighten your day? <laughs> oh, this part makes me laugh. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Walk like an Egyptian. Looks like I am so terrified. <laughs> Somebody call the police! Somebody call the Hyrulean Guard! This king's lost it! He's out of his- he's off of his whacker! A bunch of Gorons rush in and they're like, The king's dancing again! Everyone get water! Dump it on the king! Ah, oh, what a nice tune. Just like that. My depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. You just played six notes, and I just went with the rest. You want the spiritual stone of fire, too, I see. Known as the Goron's Ruby is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters and set it to Dongo's Cavern and prove yourself a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again, and I won't have to do my job. Well, you didn't think I could pick up a bomb flower by myself? This guy's really condescending. I don't know if I like your tune, Darunia. We'll see. We'll probably be brothers or something in the end. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, and... How do I get the fire started? I gotta get a fire started somehow. And, yeah, this thing. I need to get that thing going. I mean, how... Oh, it's from, you know, it's from his cavern. It's from his cavern. That's where you get the torchlight from. Feeling good with my two bottles.
You know, but that little that little Socratic lesson um, of of you know having the interest of what you're what you're you know what you're leading um, is like seriously sorely lost. I mean, especially where I've worked in the retail world, like it just seems like everyone's out for themselves, you know. And that sucks, you know, because uh, there's a lot of like there's usually more people than than leaders. I mean, that's usually how it goes, right? And then we have we're just like satisfying a bunch of leaders who don't care about anybody. Um, so whenever I'm like a, in a management position or something, you know, I always I make my goal to just essentially screw the business that I'm in. I mean, not necessarily screw the business, okay? But um. Like, it's, it's kind of like the business isn't important and the people are. And I just keep that mentality, you know? And if someone needs something, I, I like, figure it out for them. Um, and, you know, you gotta make sure you don't get your toes stepped on or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, now it's going really fast. I gotta break that sucker open. Or no, maybe it's fine. Oh, hell yeah! I think that's just random for that to happen. But I, I got the heart piece on the first one. Sweet. Makes me happy. Alright, so he wants he wants me to go take care of his problems. Hey, what's your name? Oh? We don't get many visitors up here. Where are you from? The forest? What's a forest? Huh? It's where a lot of trees and plants go. Rot rocks him those. I know a trick to conserve sticks, though. If you light a burnt stick... Oh, they... All these guys with their... They, they're all tutorial guys. I'm not a fan of tutorial guys. They can eat it. As far as I'm concerned. Oh, and then there's this doof. Um... Let's... Let's... Get it, get it, get it! Ah, I didn't get him. It's okay. It's okay. We'll catch up. We'll catch up. He's not going very fast. Ugh. Damn it. We'll get him on the other we'll get him on the other round. Here he comes. Okay. And Okay. That was it. Yes. Haha. -ha. Hello. Why did you stop me? Don't stop me here. You can't stop my wild rolling. This wild rolling is the only way to relieve my stress. I stand in all of my wild, wild rolling, man. All right. Well, I'm opening this door. Are you gonna you gonna whine about that too? These gorons. They just want me to do stuff while they sit around and eat rocks. Oh, it's like a million bombs. Just give me another one loaded up, please. I know there's another one. I know there's another one. Yep. Die, your mom. Man, this is going to be a long playthrough if I don't pick it up because <laughs> we're like four episodes in and I've done one dungeon. Oh, it's the it's this guy. I'm working on something really cool right now, but I think it's going to take a while. If you can wait five or six years, it should be ready. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> but it's going to be great. I guarantee you it's going to be the best. You just got to wait seven to ten years. Okay, we can finally leave this terrible place. Actually, I love it. I love everything in this game. I just... <laughs> I'm so quick to point out everything's little faults. You know? Can't wait to have my own bombs. I'll be sick. I'll be like, bam, I'll blow everything up. I think that was a good shot. Yes. Huh? 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Ah, I hit myself in the face with the mic. Okay, I only need one more. I think that's right. I usually have three by about now, and then I'll get another one later or something. Oh man, do we have time to do the whole dungeon? Well, you know what? We're doing it. It's four episodes in. We need to fucking... We need to beat this. We need to beat this dungeon. This one I have pretty well memorized. I don't... I don't think it'll be an issue. It's not a very big one, honestly. The, the kid dungeons are... If you know what to do, they don't take you long at all. It looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step, doofus. I always liked that that texture. I don't know, it's just like blue and red and really satisfying on the eyes. Beam us up. Ow! Stop! Okay, so yeah. We want to blow up the door first. Hey, what are you looking at? <laughs> I'm funny. It, it, you know, even if you don't need the map, it just feels wrong to not get the map. You know, like leaving the notes behind in Banjo-Kazooie or whatever. Oh, this guy. He's just going to try to sell me shields, I believe. In case I break my shield, I can go get another shield. But he does. what he doesn't know is that I don't... I don't want a shield. <laughs> I don't want his shield. No, 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 wait. Bust this guy up. Man, it's really actually, uh, one of my friends, my close friends, uh, her mom just went into kidney failure. Oh, wait. Wait, is it? No, this one's not weird. It's it's just... It's just funny colored from the lighting. But her mom just went into kidney failure, which is like the saddest thing ever. It's like, you know... As far from what I can understand, it's like a death sentence, and she's got to be on dialysis. And... And it's just... It's sad. Like, my parents, you know, they hardly talk to me, but, um... My mom does sometimes. My dad, he just doesn't, though, you know. Um, and it's sad when you, like, lose a parent, you know, because that's like a weird security blanket that you've had your whole life. You know, even if they weren't, like, actively involved, you know, you're always like, oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's there. Oh, yeah, you can come back here. And, I don't know, like, hookshot up there or something? I don't know what, uh, something like that. So we'll have, if we're going to get all the skull guys, I'm going to have to come back here, but maybe I won't record that particular bit. Oh, right, 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 right. I forgot. I forgot. Damn it. And because I forgot, now I'm going to have to... Oh, they're back. They're back. They just come right back. Come on over here, muchacho. Yeah, it's this spider. I would hear this spider, and it took me years before I figured out how to get to this room. Anyway, or I just would forget that it was here or something. I don't know. Oh, my shield! Well, I mean, yay, my shield! I don't need a freaking shield. Freaking one hand this crap. I don't need no nothing from nobody. Don't need to defend myself. Um, oh yeah, this guy. Anyway, it's just sad. I mean, gosh, I used to take care of people on dialysis. I used to be a nurse's assistant and, uh, in a, like, one of those for-profit, really understaffed hospitals, you know, so I had tons of patients, and some of the people on dialysis just, they didn't look good, you know? They did not look well or happy and... Or probably, you know, being kept alive longer than was necessary in a, you know, for that amount of pain. 
So it's, it's just, it's crazy. And it's one of the biggest things that people like die from, you know? Um, oh, come on, come on, come on, okay. <laughs> These lizard dudes, I hate, I hate how much they make you wait. You gotta know, wait for this lizard dude to come over and then you hit him like once. I don't need a shield. Ah. Jackass. See, they even dodge your little things. Eat it. I also, I think the first time I went through this game, I did not use Z-targeting. Like, I thought it was stupid and I, I didn't want to use it, so I just went around just like slashing at everything and... I got through, but once I discovered how useful Z-targeting was... Oh man, I don't think... I, I use it in every Zelda game. It's the only way to play. And I think they're still using it, right? I haven't played Breath of the Wild, but I think they're still using that Z-targeting system. I really can't wait. I just, I need to get a Switch. There's just, there's always so much to pay for, you know? Need a new computer before I get a new Switch. So I can keep doing my Let's Plays. Oh, man, I hit my face. <laughs> Deku Sticks? Get out, get out of here with that. Deku Sticks. Where are the dongos? Um, you can feed them bombs, but you really don't even have to kill them, but I'm going to kill one for fun. Oh, thank you. How sweet. How sweet of you. Oh, there it is over there. God, I'm a doof. Just want to run all the way across the room. I like this room though. It's like it's like cool. It's cooler than the other rooms. It's got this like cool blue filter or something on it. What's cool? What do I know? I don't know what's cool. I'm too old to know what's cool now. Kids say words like smash and and rocks and well, I guess we said rocks, but not in the same way kids today mean it. Bam! Dungeon halfway done. No, it's like a fourth of the way done. Woo! Uh-oh. Yeah! Oh, I love this bit with the bombs. Uh, let's do this part first. It's more fun. I know, I know. Don't, no, no, don't ruin it, Navi. Oh, yes, so satisfying. It's all these dramatic camera angles. That's what makes this game, like, look, like, they just made that so much more dramatic than it was. Like, I, I lowered a stairway, you know? <clears throat> In an old Zelda game, it would have just, like, freaking appeared there with one frame animation or something. <laughs> But they make everything so dramatic, it really just sucks you in. Yeah, I know what's going on here. How about another one? Woo! Nice. Mini boss, maybe? That was the mini boss? The compass, now I know where all that crap what I can't find is. This was one of the first games that I ever... <clears throat> like, I started to catch on that there was... Because I, before I thought in games you could just fail. Like, if I didn't get the stick from Kathmandu, 
you know, when I got to Europe, I wouldn't be able to board the train and then, like, well, start your game over then. Hmm. Right? I mean, the first Final Fantasy was a little bit like that, actually, which is really unpleasant. But I started to catch on that this game was giving me all the things I needed when I needed them. Like, there's a fairy in every room before the boss, you know? And, like, if I have don't have enough Deku sticks, then there's a guy selling them for some reason in the room, and I'm like, what are they trying to pull on me? I was very suspicious, and I didn't like it, but now I realize that, like, you know, it would almost be ridiculous to make games any other way, unless you're just doing, like, a roguelike specifically or something. Because it would just be, uh... You know, you'd have to spend too much time. Like, when I played Final Fantasy, there's just, like, a tile. And you're supposed to just kind of guess where it's at in the game. And you step on it, and then you can continue, finally, to the next part of the game. But they don't let you know where it is, or how it is, or anything. You just, you just gotta figure that out. I had to look it up eventually, and I was trying really hard not to. But I have played Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3. And 4. And and eight. I haven't played seven. You never know what will be around the corner in these narrow paths. Use Z targeting. Use the thing from the game. Nope. Oh. I knew what there was, Navi. You don't have to rub it in. It was my demise. Okay. Come back here. There's a little heart for you. Huh. Give me the gold that I don't need. 90% of the rupees I find in this game aren't going to be of any use to me. Now let's see if I can time this right. Sometimes you can kind of land it on that little ledge up there, but it's kind of easier just to do this. Oh, I did both. Great. Weird. Any other Zelda game we play, there's going to be, like, more exploration involved. But this is just the one that I know. I know it's so freaking well, it's it's stupid. You know? And not like how I know Banjo-Kazooie, where I've finally gotten lost and don't know where anything is. I like to do the jump slash, because it does twice as much damage, and then you don't have to sit here and freaking wait for these... Donkey Donk Lizards. Ha! Ha! Woohoo! Get you out of here! I thought lizards were solitary creatures. You people, you're like in a pack. Well, I guess they got a mate somehow. You know, maybe they're lovers. Maybe I just killed your husband. He's like, I will avenge you! That's right, they're a gay couple. Lizard people can can have that kind of relationship as well. I'm not even gonna go get those hearts. Huh! Sharp shooting. Wah! Wah! Oh, yes. Sweet, sweet, sweet TNT. Dynamite gonna set me free. <laughs> A weaponized society! Oh, God. Made of a Dodongo's stomach? I think, I'll, I think I'll pass on touching that. Navi, could you just put that in the bag and let's not talk about it ever again? No, I didn't get him. I don't even know... I don't even know what that... What's even in there? Does it matter? Was it the way out? Uh, I don't... I don't know. We'll figure out what it's for. I don't know what, where that door goes. Very strange.
I always liked that. That's a cool puzzle. Oh, I didn't I didn't hit my mark. Oh, another shield. Well, I'm not putting it on. Because I feel like I'm doing fine without it. No? There we go. So that's supposed to be the old Dodongo. Like, the one I fight, because you fight one of these guys in the end, the one I fight isn't even the King Dodongo. Dodongo. I said it fast because I got scared. You know, this guy was. And you're inside his stomach, it's the whole level. I never would have beat this guy. I don't really need the letter out anymore. I don't think it's going to help me in the dungeon, unless this bat can read. Oh, you after my shield? You're not getting it! Okay, this way. Oh, man, I'm having so much fun. Feels like being a, ki a kid again, really. Ah! Like it targets for you! What an, in what an innovation. I'm sure someone invented it, but whatever. Fucking Z-targeting. You know? Like, it's overdone. It's overdone. It's it's overdone like some bad eggs, but, uh... You know, it's, it's whatever. It, it was fun for this game. I'll say that. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Maybe a little more. I might say some more about it. Where, where does that go? I feel like that's not where I want to go. My, my intuition is just telling me certain places aren't where I'm needing to be right now. Well, it wouldn't hurt. I just want to see where it goes. Where does it go? My intuition. My intuition! Oh, well, there's a golden skull to lend here. I'm pretty sure that guy's... Yeah, he's... he's <laughs> he, was, he just didn't notice what I was doing. I was sneaky about it. Oh, come on. I pushed that block down for a reason. You guys just push it back up. Yep, I knew it. This is how this always goes down. I go in that room, and then the bats attack me, and that's why my intuition was telling me not to do it. See, he'll try to knock me off here, but he ain't gonna get away with it. Do I need hearts? Probably. Am I looking for them actively? No. There's one. No, 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 don't climb it. Whew! Hide behind, hide behind. No, he still got me. Damn it! <laughs> I should have killed them. But I took the, the lazy way out. Oh my god, there's burn damage! Oh, I could die now! Oh, the milk! Eat the milk! Oh, did I just break the game or something by pausing it while the thing was dropping? No, we're good. That milk came in handy. I'll be damned. Oh shit, this is the end! <laughs> we're, we're here! So the key to beating this boss is dumping milk all over him. No, that's that's not how you do it. Woo! I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. No, that's not. We're not going to use that line. Oh, I'm tired. He just starts rolling indiscriminate, indiscriminately. This is like the easiest boss in the game, though. Oh shit, I gotta hit him. I forgot I gotta slap him. Easy schmeasy. Oh, I got a mid-flip. This is a huge Dodongo that eats anything. Give it a shock and finish it off with your sword. A shock? Really, Navi? 
Explosion is not a shock. That's terrible. Your ter your advice is terrible. Yeah, he just kind of does this, and you just gotta kind of hey, uh, over here. Come on, dude. Turn around. You know who you're fighting. Just roll around in circles. No shield, mother. Oh no, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm not fine. Someone help, I'm not fine. No. He is not okay. Look, man, I was just feeding you bombs. You're the one who rolled into the lava like an idiot. All right, guys. Well, you know what? We're going to call it the end there. I got the heart piece. This is Zelda. We did it. <laughs> this is Zelda. See you next time. <laughs>